What could possibly go wrong with implanting chips in our brains? Is Sam Altman's investment in brain chips a stroke of genius or a one-way ticket to becoming the plot of a Black Mirror episode? Today, we're going to be diving deep into the end of the tech pool, where the water is murky and the next big thing is always just around the corner. Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because today we're talking about the one and only Sam Altman and his grand plan to invest billions into making brain chips for AI. The development of advanced artificial intelligence systems has become a top priority for governments and technology companies worldwide. At the core of these ambitious AI projects is the humble semiconductor chip. Control over the next generation of AI accelerator chips could determine who wins the AI race in the coming decades. This apparently mundane computer component has become a heated geopolitical battleground embroiling national security agencies, tech titans, and foreign investors. The saga around AI research company OpenAI over the last year illuminates the tangled web of competing interests vying to shape the future of AI chip fabrication and supply chains. In late 2022, OpenAI co-founder Sam Altman sought funding from Middle Eastern sovereign wealth funds to mass-produce new neuromorphic AI chips developed by the startup Rain Neuromorphics. However, the deal collapsed after the U.S. government deemed it a national security risk. Altman is now reportedly courting other deep-pocketed backers to finance a global AI chip manufacturing network. What are the technological promises and perils of neuromorphic AI chips? Much of the recent explosion in AI capabilities can be attributed to advanced and specialized hardware like graphical processing units tailored for neural network computations. Leading AI labs are now racing to develop even more powerful next-generation AI accelerators customized for blooming models like massive language models. Startups like Rain Neuromorphics are pioneering an unconventional approach. Neuromorphic chips that mimic the architecture of a human brain using analog components rather than digital logic. Proponents argue neuromorphic designs could enable revolutionary gains in performances and energy efficiency that allows AI systems to scale new heights. Rain's brain-inspired chips recreate key structures like neurons, axons, and dendrites using novel materials and 3D architectures. The company claims the analog framework reduces power consumption by orders of magnitude compared to existing digital chips from NVIDIA and others running equivalent AI workloads. Altman contends these efficiency breakthroughs will be critical to deploy increasingly complex AI at a global scale. However, skeptics caution that the neuromorphic computing is an exciting frontier. Analog chips remain unproven for large-scale commercial applications. Digital GPUs benefits from decades of optimization, while programming neuromorphic hardware requires a paradigm shift. Some experts believe hybrid systems combining digital and analog components may offer the best path forward. Nonetheless, the possibilities of neuromorphic chips have captured the imagination of major powers who envision it conferring decisive advantages in military and intelligence applications. For instance, China aims to lead the field by 2030, backed by billions of government funding. Unlike Rain's commercial ambitions, some Chinese efforts reportedly focus on surveillance and combat scenarios. The DoD and DARPA are also aggressively researching neuromorphic designs, often tapping the same open academic circles as Chinese teams. This highlights concerns that asynchronous analog neuromorphic chips might enable covert channels or backdrops, undetected using traditional verification methods for digital logic. Whoever firstly masters obscure analog engineering arts may be able to subtly manipulate the foundations of competitors' defenses and infrastructures. Some propose reining in the neuromorphic arms race with export controls and academia military decoupling. Others argue banning promising technologies is unworkable and risky. Better to out-innovate opponents in beneficial applications. In any case, the defense implications of neuromorphic computing illustrates how the chip foundations of AI will shape geopolitics in complex ways. What about the geopolitics and global supply chains? AI chips have become the latest front in intensifying technological rivalry between major powers like the U.S. and China. Semiconductors manufacturing in a strategically vital industry, an advanced silicon fab cost upward of $10 billion to construct. Taiwan currently dominates cutting-edge chip fabrication, including AI accelerators, housing TSMC, and accounting for over 60% of global output. However, there are growing worries this leaves supply chains vulnerable, with Taiwan increasingly at odds with Beijing. China is marshalling state resources to nurture its domestic chip industry and reduce reliance on foreign labs. But despite investing $150 billion over the last decade, Chinese firm remains three to five years behind rivals, dependent on U.S. and European equipment. 
frustrated with pace, China is doubling down on the questionable means, including poaching talent and stealing IP from semiconductor leaders like TSMC and Samsung. The U.S. has responded forcefully, imposing export controls to cut China off from critical tools and know-how. This technology blockade is spurring Chinese efforts to source chips from emerging players elsewhere. Meanwhile, OpenAI's hunt for backers for its AI chip fab network highlights America's difficulty financing megaprojects requiring patient capital due to short-termist markets. Altman has turned to golf funds and SoftBank to fund the billions needed to contract Asian and European manufacturers. But CFI US vetoed Saudi participation due to the dual-use risks. Rather than offshoring, U.S. officials want domestic chip production to mitigate supply chain threats. The CHIPS Act provides $52 billion subsidies for U.S. fabs, including a new $20 billion TSMC plan in Arizona. However, reshoring any meaningful capacity will take a decade. Critics also question whether government central planning can outperform globalized commercial ecosystems innovating freely. America's bid to deny China advanced chips while dominating supply itself risks fueling unstable sphere of influence logic. However, others counter China's own mercantilism. Industrial policies started this dynamic. The solution lies in multilateral trust and transparency, not disengagement. Either way, semiconductors' roles as a foundational component enabling future AI makes supply chains a powder keg issue. Of course, state adversaries may shun external oversight of defense applications, but concerted public-private governance coalitions can still set norms that solidify moral high ground in contested domains like AI chips and deter unethical use by raising reputational costs. Sustained collaboration on standards and best practices for AI trust and safety is essential. The stakes are only growing as systems become more capable and ubiquitous. The cutting edge of AI hardware and software development is dominated by a handful of big tech firms like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and NVIDIA. Critics warn the concentration of knowledge and resources creates dangerous bottlenecks. If a few megacorps control access to AI, important benefits could be stifled. What does the trend towards proprietary over open source AI chips portend for centralization risks? Currently, most AI systems run on mass market NVIDIA GPUs or Google's proprietary TPU, both digital architectures. However, competing offerings are emerging, like Amazon's Tranium and Intel's forthcoming Blocks Matrix base chip. As capabilities grow, custom chips allow more efficiency gains, but vendors lock in looms. If access to large language models requires certain exclusive chips or stacks, user freedom and competition suffer. Some argue fully proprietary chip model combinations are inevitable and can enhance user value, much as Apple's control over its walled garden. Hardware and OS ecosystem allows polished experiences, but others see pitfalls in replicating such closed models for entire AI fabric of society. Luckily, trends aren't all one way. The NVIDIA opening up its ecosystem and divided views within firms like Google on proprietarization governments can foster competition by funding open source alternatives and startup challenging incumbents. Decentralized approaches like federated learning have natural advantages for privacy and access too. That's a wrap folks. If you enjoyed the brain chip banter, hit like, subscribe and share for more sarcastic tech musings. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Will brain chips revolutionize AI or just revolutionize our privacy concern? Stay tuned for more skepticism. Keep questioning and laughing.